This family would get to nowhere if it wasn't for me. <laughs> How ladylike of you. I, Thomas Stone, am running for mayor of Brookhaven. No, she's mean. She bullies me all of the time. I feel like I ruin her day every time I'm near her. Can you think of anything you might know about Thomas that will expose him to be deceitful and untrustworthy? If I want something, I get it. <sighs> Who are you? Chop, chop, stone family. We need to be on the move in five minutes. Honey, have you seen my Balenciagas? Are those the ones with the snake skin? Snake skin on a Balenciaga? No! Then no, I haven't seen them. Top shelf, the guest closet. Thanks. <sighs> less than five minutes now. We're leaving in less than five minutes and you aren't even dressed, Harmony. I got hungry. Well, get dressed and eat the sandwich at the same time. It's called multitasking. This family would get to nowhere if it wasn't for me. The car's ready and the perimeter's been secured. Thank you, Wallace. You're a good man. Drill. The car has arrived. The car is ready for you. The car is leaving. Get your booties down here. Tennis shoes. Really? Good choice on the shoes. Looking sharp, Thomas. Okay, Stones, let's go over everything one final time. We're headed to a press conference. Thomas will be announcing his campaign. Remember, we're painting a picture today. Margaret and Harmony are his perfect fiancé and daughter. The Stones are the ideal Brookhaven family. Thomas will announce everyone will smile and wave at the cameras, and then we'll leave. Any questions? Are my cue cards ready? Do you know me? I can always count on you, Leanne. You're the best campaign manager there is. Absolutely I am. Harmony, finish that sandwich or toss it. You aren't taking it in the limo. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How ladylike of you. No time for that. Let's go. The tenacious Lola Lemons, lead broadcaster of BH News Channel 5. It's nice to see you again as well. And who are these lovely ladies? My fiance, Margaret Clay, and my beautiful 15-year-old daughter, Harmony. Lovely to meet you both. Now we're going live here in just a moment. Leanne has mentioned you're making an announcement regarding the upcoming election for the mayor of Brookhaven. That's correct. I'm glad the briefing made it to your desk in time. Honey, I heard about your campaign for the mayor weeks ago. The city talks. Just stick to the script and wear golden. Ready when you are, Tommy. It's Thomas. I'm Lola 
Diamonds with BH News Channel 5. Here with Thomas Stone and his family. Fiance, Margaret Clay, and daughter Harmony Stone. We're standing in front of the City Hall for an important announcement. Thomas? Thanks, Lola. I, Thomas Stone, am running for mayor of Brookhaven. I've lived in Brookhaven for my entire life. I've chosen to attend university, raise my family, and grow old in our beautiful town. Having been here for 50 years, I've seen Brookhaven through every season of life, from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. We've been on a low these past few years under the guidance of current mayor Benny Hank. It's time for that to change. I will bring us back to the glory days of Brookhaven, where we can all happily choose to raise our families here and do so with comfort and enjoyment, knowing the mayor is making decisions that will benefit us all. There you have it, folks! A candidate brave enough to go up against Benny Hank. Stay tuned and we'll break down Thomas Stone's announcement and the major differences between both candidates. For BH News Channel 5, I'm Lola Lemons. Great work, great work! You're a natural in front of the camera. Are you really going to start analyzing the differences between Benny and I already? Of course, the campaign is starting. Elections are just a few weeks away. It's time, baby, so buckle up. This ride is about to get bumpy. Great! You hit every word exactly as we rehearsed! Thanks. It felt good. I'm excited! You did well, Dad! Thanks, sweetie. You did too. It was your first time in front of the camera. How did it feel? I... She could have smiled more. She just stared into the lens. Margaret, dear, it was her first time. Harmony, you were great. Don't worry. We better get back to the house. We'll need to start preparing for the backlash. The backlash? Oh, yes. You're running against long-term mayor Benny Hank, Thomas. He's ruthless. Why do you think every person running against him has failed to secure the mayor's seat for the past five years? It's him and his nasty campaign manager, Emmy Rowe. She's a terror. Got any skeletons in your closet, love? <laughs> <laughs> not so sure about the spotlight, huh? It's not really my thing, but I'll do it for my dad, I guess. He really wants to be mayor. Do you want him to be mayor? Sure, I just want him to be happy, and if giving back to Brookhaven is going to make him happy, then that's what I want. What about Margaret? She makes Dad happy too, I guess. But she doesn't make you happy? No, she's mean! She bullies me all of the time! I feel like I ruin her day every time I'm near her! I kind of wish I knew who my real mom was. Dad hides her away. I don't even know her name, but I bet she was beautiful. You're beautiful, Harmony. And that kind of thing comes right from the mother. I'm sure she was wonderful. Yeah, well, I'll never get to meet her. Maybe one day. Oh, uh, I brought you something. Sweets for my sweet. Thank you, Wallace. I love caramels. You always know how to make a lady happy. All in a day's work, ma'am. It's on. Turn it up. Thomas Stone am running for mayor of Brookhaven. I've lived in Brookhaven for my entire life. I've chosen to attend university, raise my family, and grow old in our beautiful town. Having been here for 50 years, I've seen Brookhaven through every season of life. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. We've been on a low these past few years under the guidance of current mayor Benny Hank. 
It's time for that to change. I will bring us back to the glory days of Brookhaven, where we can all happily choose to raise our families here and do so with comfort and enjoyment, knowing the mayor is making decisions that will benefit us all. That rotten do-gooder actually did it. He put his name in the running against me. It was a well-written speech. That style of writing sounds familiar. He'll win this election over my dead body. He's telling people we've been at a low these past few years. I've been the best mayor this town has ever seen. I've created jobs. I've installed picnic benches at parks. No one cares for the people more than me. Leanne, I should have known she was his campaign manager. She drives me nuts with her rule-following positivity. He can't come in here and take this away from me! I won't lose my mayoral seat! Then let the games begin. This is no game! Oh yes it is, and you're going to play it. We need to start digging up dirt on Tom Stone. The public is going to think he's Mr. Perfect. He has a beautiful fiancé, a beautiful daughter, and he's good-looking himself. Frankly, Benny, you're a bit old. I won't have you talking to me like that! I only tell the truth. And it's the truth you need to hear and the truth we need to expose if we're going to bury Thomas's reputation. Can you think of anything you might know about Thomas that will expose him to be deceitful and untrustworthy? We did serve on a few boards together over the years. I think I've got something, but it's going to take a lot of digging. It's a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I can make it true. Eating again, are we? I'm allowed to eat. I never said you weren't. But you're judging me for it. You're actually implying that I shouldn't eat anymore by asking if I'm eating again. You know, talking to me like that could cause the start of an eating disorder. Your words could be the very reason I learned to hate food and feel badly about myself. Don't be so dramatic, Harmony. We both know you'll never hate food. It matters too much to you. By telling me that food matters too much to me could be the very words- Enough! Why don't you come take a seat and help me look through these magazines for inspiration for the wedding? That's not really my thing. I can tell, little miss dressed like a boy. If you're mean to me all of the time, why would you think I would want to help you plan the wedding? Because it's what your daddy would want. And it's what I want, too. I want Thomas to think about how perfect his family is and how well the two women in his life get along. Trust me, if I want something, I get it. Whatever. What color do you think the bridesmaid's dresses should be? I don't know. I don't care. You should care. You'll be wearing one. I'm a bridesmaid? Thomas is making me. I don't really care about your opinion anyways, so don't stress out. Nice. Look at my sweet girls. My stunning fiancé, my perfect daughter. You two get along so well. Harmony, sweetie, thank you for helping Margaret with the wedding planning. Your opinion means so much to us. I'm just so glad that we're becoming a beautiful family together. Me too, darling. Harmony is just so helpful with everything. You know me, little Miss Helpful. That's my girl. I'm headed out to kiss a few babies, shake a few hands, take a few pictures. I'll be back in a few hours, and then it'll be time to head to the big dinner tonight. That's tonight? I thought I could go play sand volleyball with the girls later. Not tonight. Tonight is fancy dinner, fancy dress, party night for all of the candidates. What am I wearing? I hope it's something stunning. I need to look as good as you, and that'll take a lot. You're very handsome. 
Well, thank you, but it won't take too much. You're very beautiful already. Yuck! <laughs> Sorry, Harmony. Actually, Leanne was approached by a local fashion designer. She was interested in offering her services for our campaign. She designed two stunning dresses, one for each of you, free of charge. Isn't that incredible? She also offered to join us this evening and do your hair and makeup. She'll stay around the entire dinner and make sure you're always touched up and camera ready. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. I cannot wait. Seems too good to be true. Well, it isn't. Some people are just kind and dedicated to the cause. Get used to it. We'll have people treating us well all the time when I win this campaign. Leanne laid out your outfits on your beds. Wallace will have the limo ready at 6 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. I'll see you both soon. You're such a good actress. He totally believes we get along. Tonight is the dinner party officially announcing the candidacies to the potential campaign backers. It will be important that we appear cool, calm, and collected, and that Thomas Stone does not. I have it all taken care of. What time will our special guest arrive? You're never going to believe this. Our special guest is arriving with Thomas Stone. How did you pull that off? I hired a few people. I pulled a few strings. I have a guy on the inside. You even surprise me sometimes. So, how did we learn Thomas's little secret? An old college friend of mine worked on the same staff as Thomas in the early 2000s. He was there when it all went down. And he was eager and willing to tell me all about it. Something about a promotion that Thomas received instead of him. Some grudges never die. And thank goodness for that. Agreed. <laughs> Up a little bit more on the back, please. So, Jenny, how did you end up doing our hair and makeup again? I saw your father announce his campaign on the news earlier this week. It's time we have some new blood in the office, and I really liked your father's speech. I've been designing clothes for as long as I can remember, and I thought to myself, what can I do that would help this campaign? When I saw you and Miss Margaret standing so beautifully beside him, I knew that's what I was going to do to help. And was so glad you did. The makeup and hair is gorgeous. You're doing such a fantastic job. I look elegant. I look like I have money. It's everything. I'm so glad you're happy with it. And what would you like done with your hair, Harmony? Pigtails, please, but make them fancy. Got it, pigtails. Just a moment. What was that about? Uh, just notifying Wallace will be another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be ready to leave. Margaret, you can go put on your dress. Harmony, hop up in the chair, and I'll style your hair. Thank you for offering to help. It really is special not having to do all of this myself. I'm not very good with makeup and hair. That's all right. It takes time for everyone to learn, and you'll have a great teacher with your stepmom, Margaret. She really knows her stuff. She would never teach me. How come? We don't get along. She doesn't like me because I'm not like her. I don't like her because she's so fake and such a bully. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you two can work things out by the time the wedding comes around. We'll see. All 
right, kiddo, your hair is all done. Time to go get dressed. Hurry and change into your gown and I'll meet you downstairs to walk you to the car. <laughs> yep, she's all ready to go. She should be downstairs in less than five. Beautiful, Miss Harmony. I knew that dress would look stunning on you, and it certainly does. Thank you. Where is everyone else? They're already in the limo. Let's get moving. I can walk myself out to the limo, Jenny. Thank you. Wallace asked me to escort you. There are more dangerous things now that your dad has announced his campaign. Oh, okay. Beautiful, Harmony. Thank you. Climb on in, Harmony. I'll meet you all at the dinner. I have something for you. I almost forgot. Sweets for my sweet. Oh, no thank you, Wallace. I don't like caramels. But earlier you said... I said no thank you. I don't like caramels. Huh? 